So, a layout, like a big, I don't know, diorama layout, uh, was leaked for uh, what looks like potentially Super Nintendo World um, at Universal Studios in Tokyo. And so basically Nintendo is opening a theme park. Uh, I think we all mostly know that. Uh, they want to have it open in time f uh, for the Winter uh, Olympics in 2020. So that's, I mean, honestly, that's... Is that only that's six, not, months, yeah. six months away? Six, seven months? Uh, oh, shit, I didn't... Oh. Yeah, winter's in like physically February, the Winter Olympics. Oh, wow, I was thinking like next year, like, yeah, early... Oh, wow, okay, yeah, so that's going to be crazy. That's going to be soon. Um, but the layout looks... Great. So the layout is done. It looks like a Super Mario 3D World level, a Super Mario Odyssey level. It's got that style to it. Winter Olympics. Let me just see when it starts. And it shows... Oh, Winter Olympics is 2022, not 2020. Oh, I felt it said something here, 20... It was, we just had an Olympics. So it's 2022. Nintendo hopes to have the park open by the start of the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. Well, so, it's not 2020. Okay, well, then that's, that's an yeah. error on there. Yeah. Okay. Because I was going to say, there's no way they're Oh, 2020 is a Summer Olympics. Ah, there it is. There you go. Now I'm confused. It's every two years. Okay, Summer Olympics is next year. So they have about June, July. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's a lot more doable. Give a year, it's not six a months. Year. Okay. Anyway, um, it shows... So it's, it's wonderfully themed. Um, and it shows a few things that I think we kind of might have expected there to be. Uh, there's a Mario Kart ride. It looks like in the back. Uh, it looks like Bowser's castle with his uh, head. Oh, that's a great idea. His head over it. And, you know, obviously people are walking through his mouth. Um, it looks like there's a Yoshi's Adventure land or something like that. To me, it looks like um, maybe like a, a like the Alice in Wonderland ride at Disney where you sit in something and it takes you yeah. around and moves you Th through. This Probably is... animatronics and visuals and stuff this like that. This is a Mario-themed part of the park right here right exactly um and you then a little sh shows like a little cafe <laughs> the little yoshis running around up top i wonder what that's, that's what i'm be. saying no that's that, what i'm talking is about that gonna be a ride i think, think it's that could be a ride too i think that's the one that you sit in and it takes you around oh okay you get in like a car and it takes you around through dioramas and things like that that would be my guess their version of it's a small world yeah that sort and of thing and then ian if you want to if you want to you want a uh, yoshi burger you can go to toastal cafe right there do you and, want? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> and then they show a Donkey Kong um, portion of the um, of the park. Uh, it's a separate layout, and it, it's, a, it's a, yeah, it's probably not as big. But actually, no, it looks as big. It, it looks, looks big. as big. It looks big. So it's got Funky Kong's plane. It's got. Um, it looks like it's going to have a minecart ride. What oh, would course. a Donkey Kong Land be without a minecart oh, ride? Uh, so. Um, and it looks like what might be uh, like a big waterfall feature against the back. So honestly, looks looks incredible to me. Yeah, if 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 the actual park looks anything like these, I'd love to go. Um, you know, the Mario World, the Mario Universe has always been extremely colorful and and bright and fun themed and nice to look at. I can imagine that that would be a great place to walk around and spend a day. Even if you weren't even necessarily into Mario or games, you know, it's unique and colorful looking enough that someone seeing it for the first time would probably be like, hey, that looks like fun. Mine I want to go check that out. Minecart Madness ride traveling all the way around the back half of the park, a recreation of Fun Funky Kong's plan at the front, and what could potentially be a stunning waterfall feature in the back. Okay, I wonder if there's going to be more than these two parts because people are saying well what about zelda what about what about link is there a room for that anywhere in this park i don't know if that would be able to pull off that's not as kid friendly as donkey kong or, or, or mario donkey kong and mario i think are probably the most like immediately appealing to large groups of people the theming like i said between mario and donkey kong uh, you know it, it can be looked at as like i said even if you're not into games you've got your happy, fun, colorful land, yeah. and then you've got your Legends of the Hidden Temple inspired, you know, sort of sure. Donkey Kong land. I, they're themes that I think would be interesting enough for people, regardless of their interest. Honestly, the Legend of Zelda probably would be too. Um, but keep in mind, this is this is at Universal Studios in Japan, so it's not like it's going to be the size of a normal theme park. 
you know, like like it's not going to be its own Disney World. It's going yeah, to be it's, it's, right on the space. Right. It's going to be part. It, it's just like the Universal Studios up here in L.A. They've got the Simpsons Land and they've got the Harry Potter Land. But you know, they're they're well themed and they're large, but they're not they're not as big as a normal park. There's still parts of like a a larger yeah park experience. Like we have the Harry Potter part of the Universal Studios the, over here. Yes. What was it Wiz- Wizarding World of Harry Potter? Uh, for example. So this is going to cost, between according to this article I see here in Polygon, between $351 million up, up to as much as $544 million. So, woo! Okay, then. Oh, yeah, we'll see one We'll see one in, in the U.S., if not both locations. We'll definitely see one. I don't know if they only choose one, which, what do you think, which get, what, what gets more traffic? Florida or L.A.? Probably Florida. Florida. Probably Florida? Yeah, probably I've actually never Florida. Been to, I've never been to the Florida one. I've only been to the one in L.A. I've actually never been to the one in L.A. I've only been to the Disney in Florida, not the one an hour and a half away. <laughs> I, uh, it's really how does that work out? Did the opposite. Of I um, I didn't want to go to Universal Studios until they redid the Jurassic Park ride, which apparently they have. So now I want to go back with I want to go with Bonnie. That was probably the same one that I went on. No, they re- they completely rethemed it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Jurassic World now, so it's the same. It, it's the ride, but I guess they you know basically oh. refurbed everything. Well, I mean, did, or, did they have the same rides in both Universal Studios or different ones? Oh, don't know. Okay. You know, I missed out on the. Um, I was kind of annoyed. I missed out on the. Um, now, am, I, am I going to confuse MGM with Universal? Because I've been to MGM Studios. Uh, I was there right when they switched over to the Simpsons ride. They got rid of the Back to the Future ride. Mm-hmm. That's Universal, right? That was 2008. They, that was right when they switched over. Yeah, that's Universal Studios. I was like, no, but the Simpsons ride was really fun. Yeah. Really fun. Uh, there. Um, anyway, so. Uh, yeah, so I guess after that, we'll see when it comes here. I guess we'll be probably before we're 50. We'll see it in the U.S. Yay! I can go with my little propeller beanie and, you know, my big lollipop and be all excited. I've been waiting for this my whole life. Man, children, mission complete. (laughs) We got it. Um, It would probably, I would would say that. Will there be a Nintendo rep there in a booth for angry man children to yell at? Like, that's a ride. Like, wait in line to yell at a Nintendo (laughs) rep. (laughs) There'll there'll be, there'll be a Pokemon land, but they'll, they won't have every single Pokemon. So people will be upset at them. I Wonder actually Man. don't think there would be a Pokemon Land. I don't know if Nintendo owns a large enough stake in it. I'm sure they could work out a deal yeah. with, with the Pokemon company. What do they own? Thirty percent, something like that. It's a minority stake, but I'm sure I'm sure they could make figure out a way to, to share the money, wet their beak a little bit there. All right, so uh, yeah, so that's gonna be coming by uh, by uh, next, next summer. summer. Okay. <laughs>